All right, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am taking you to the Santa Margarita River Trail in Fallbrook, California. And the coaster's not coming with me because it's about six miles. And unfortunately, Cody can only walk about a quarter mile at this point. Sorry, bud. It's all good. Anyways, let's go. Santa Margarita River Trail. We're at the trailhead here and parking lot off of Sandia Creek Drive. Uh huh. The trail follows the Santa Margarita River for a five mile stretch. 95% of our hikers start on this uh, trailhead yeah. and follow what's the green trail on this trail map that's located here on the kiosk. You can always find the preserved brochures and trail maps there. Um, and there's an alphanumeric code that you can see uh, as reference points. They are approximately every quarter mile out. Uh -huh. You guys don't recommend swimming, but like, is it illegal to swim or? So, so it's, we just don't, again, really the reason why is for one, we have uh, no idea how good the water quality is. Okay. There, there is um, some runoff from, you know, agricultural areas as well as the potential of this is just urban runoff coming through the storm system yeah. um, could end up in the river. Yeah. So we, we don't recommend people at least swimming or putting their face and ears and eyes in the water. Right, right. Um, you can certainly cool off. I, mean, I didn't catch your name. What was your name? My name's Zach. Zach, I'm Scott. Scott, nice to meet you. I'll tell you what, I picked the perfect day to come down here. It is 72 degrees and the wind's blowing, just a light wind. It's about 1230 in the afternoon and it feels amazing. So uh, the ranger told me I shouldn't jump in the water. I'm looking at the water and I understand why he said that, but it's not illegal to jump in the water. So I got my trunks on, I might get in there. Maybe just don't dip my head. We'll see. Back onto the trail. So right after you get about uh, maybe a quarter mile into the trail, maybe a little less, you start hitting all these rocks right here. And it's pretty short. Once you get over this little stack of rocks, you get back to more of a flat trail. So one thing you need to know about this hike is that as you're hiking, there's all these little side trails that go off down to the river. So a lot of, on a lot of the hike, you can't actually see the river. You can in a lot of areas, but the, there's little little turnoffs, and I'm going to show you one right now. So as you can see, you can turn to the left here. The main trail goes off out there, and uh, you turn left here, and I haven't even gone down here yet. So, so you are going to experience this with me. Hopefully, it's something cool, and hopefully, we don't find people making out down here or something because they could hear me, and that would be embarrassing. Here's another little off trail going that way, and you come out. Oh, it's almost like a little pond area. The water flowing right there. And it looks like there's a trail on the other side right there. I don't know. If I were homeless, I think I'd be I'd be living there. Check this out. This is a cool little area. Bring a lunch. Maybe have a little picnic right here. The cool thing about this this trail is that there's in coming down to these these little secret areas here, there's no trash anywhere. Like anywhere, anywhere else, you're gonna find trash everywhere, especially if you're close to the city. Here, you know, you don't have any signs of homelessness. There's no signs of trash, it's well kept. Just a beautiful, beautiful trail. Ah, oh man, let's get out of this. Ah. Oh. Oh. oh man, I just, so I just came out of some serious brush right there and I'm a little worried because literally three weeks ago i got poison ivy or poison oak or whatever it was while i was on my road trip and it lasted like three weeks come to find out if you have poison oak or okay let me hopefully i'm getting this right it's either poison oak or poison ivy it's actually not contagious or it does not spread if you scratch yourself i used to always like put calamine lotion on not scratch myself thinking that's what spread it but it's actually just the sap or the uh uh, whatever is on that plant that gets on you. And if it stays on you, if it stays on your clothes, that's how it spreads. So just a little food for thought. Whoa. Okay. I'm off trail. I don't, where do I go now? 
where am I going? I think I'm gonna have to hike up this little hill right here. Hold on. If I eat it, you're gonna get this on film. All right, here we go. All right. I'm totally gonna get poison ivy. Next video, poison ivy all over my body. <laughs> Hopefully not. It gets in some crazy places, doesn't it? Uh, if you know, you know. Little seating area, if you get tired. I'm breathing hard right now. Got a little sweat going. Oh, this is kind of cool. Another thing I like about this trail is that it's really wide. So I've passed by probably five or six people and it's such a wide trail, you can see right here. Whoop, that um, you can have horses on the trail. You can have a ton of people on the weekend. I guess this place gets really busy, but a uh, really big trail. There are some, some areas where it gets a little more, uh, a little more thin trail, but uh, for the most part, nice and big. This would be cool for a little mountain bike, a little mi mountain bike. I can't talk. A little mountain bike action. Uh, I mean, most of this trail is like you're in the shade the whole time. You got some sunny areas, but there's so much tree cover here that I put. I loaded up on the sunscreen, but didn't probably didn't really need it. Oh, I think I'm jumping in the water. I'm sweating. Woo wee! Man, I'm sweating like a sinner in church right now. Woo! Ah, what do you think about that? That hat right there. Wear it like that. Should I? I'm gonna get too old for that. Okay, so while I have you here, let's, um, I got nothing, nobody else to talk to, so I'll talk to you on this trail. I was thinking hats, okay? I'm thinking about hats. Now, when you're older, when you're my age, I'm 39 years old, turning 40 this year, you know, when you're my age, you, I feel like you, you, know, you can wear your hat straight like this. Um, let's see, you know, you can, you can crease it how you want or you can flatten it out. Um, I like it a little creased. I don't know. I, it's not really the San Diego way. San Diego way is just flat bill, but I think being a little bit older, I like it creased. But at my age, at 39 years old, I don't know if you can, you can't, you can't like do something like this, can you? I see dudes, I see guys my age wearing their hat like that. And I don't know, you tell me, can you? I, would, I wouldn't dare. And I'm kind of, a, I'm kind of embarrassed when I see it. But anyways, can you do that? Or uh, how about this? How about just, 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 just go all out? I don't know if that was ever cool. Was that ever cool? Like maybe in the 80s. Uh, and then, then now what I'm seeing, now what I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lot of this. This is more like East Coast, East Coast style. Check out this side, inside. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. This is um this is kind of how you crease that crease it like this. Check this out. This is this is Marine Corps style right here. Right up, more like this. Marine Corps! Hurrah! Hi -yach! Okay, I'm coming up on some people, so this is this is getting a little weird. They're gonna be tripping out. Oh, oh, that lady just saw me. Lady just saw me and uh, started walking the opposite way. Rightly so. It's getting a little weird around here. Anyways, um, let me know in the comments if you remember. What do you think about those hat styles? Or, or check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Backwards. I think backwards. Backwards is still all right. Thirty nine. I don't know. I feel like most of these hat styles, you got to do it in your 20s. Your 30s, not so much. Let me know what you think. Thanks. Oh. Going up on the rock. Oh, that's a cool view right there. That water, that water is actually looking kind of tempting. get a lot warmer but uh that's yeah, worth it okay i would say i'm about a mile in right now and i'm working up a pretty good sweat i'm getting a little sweat uh little sweat marks on my hat it's getting sweaty to the window to the wow to the sweat drops down my no not gonna not gonna say that on my channel but that's how the song goes anyways sweating sweating it up you're gonna get a good workout here 
especially if you come in the summertime. It's only 72 today, nice little breeze. Oh, I'm sure in the summertime, it's like 90, no wind. You're gonna be sweating your tail off. That's right. Okay, onto the trail, whoa, people. And as you get about a mile in, you're gonna run into some rocks here. Another little rocky section. Oh, I forgot to tell you, the last time I came on this trail, I uh, I was running and I was, you know, I was going at a decent pace, but I came around this corner and there were, there was a couple, there were there's two people and uh, they were getting a little frisky. So um, as I came around the corner, I, uh, I saw them like on each other and they separated really quick and I came by and pretended like I didn't see anything. I'm like, hey guys, they're like, hey, how you doing? That was pretty classic. Nothing like that today though. And I saw that coyote. So I'm hoping to find something. I see a little off trail right here. So check this out. So this trail goes up there. That's the main trail up there. And then here's a little offshoot right here. And I'm gonna go check this out. This looks like a cool one. I feel like I'm in uh, like Costa Rica or something like that. Everything's so lush. It's like a rainforest coming through and another little section to not go swimming i.e go swimming oh i would say right here i'm looking down i can see the rocks i don't know if you can see that i'm thinking that's probably maybe two feet in certain areas but maybe four or five feet in other areas and there's actually some little fish in there check it out Oh, check this out. There's a little sign that says viewpoint to the left. Let's, let's go see what that's all about. Coming up on the viewpoint. Get some crawl dads, maybe. So this is more of a stream right here. This is, this is pretty shallow, but how cool is this? The rocks. Here come some ducks to come say hi. Okay, so if you didn't make that left to go down that trail, you're gonna come all the way pretty much to the end of the trail right here where you're gonna hit all these rocks. And this is where the river bend is in the river view, which is really cool. So I'm gonna turn this thing around and show you guys. I'm down. Oh, that's pretty cool. Check out the view out there. Okay, so I just finished up at the viewpoint area over there and I have to backtrack a little bit to make it to, uh, to continue on the trail here, which goes up this hill right here. So I'm gonna charge this hill, I'm gonna run it. And uh, let's see if I can make it all the way up there. You guys ready? Let's put that down. All right, you can see how long it is. made it up to the top check it out oh man I'm sweating look at that Woo! oh well for those that don't know me um, just a little bit about myself I uh, I ended up spending about five and a half years in the Marine Corps and uh, man had some great times tell you what for those Marines that know me wasn't always the most motivated Marine out there but uh, I loved it and uh, and I loved working with all my Marines. Had so much fun. So, so I have to get to the top of the trail. Then it actually starts going downhill. And it goes down this hill and curves around to the left. I was coming around this corner. This is where I saw a little PDA going on. Saw some two people getting a little frisky down here. That's where it was happening. Right there. Right down by the creek. This is a cool little section though. So it drops down this hill. 
all the way down from the viewpoint and then you come down to this creek okay so i was coming around the, the turn on this trail right when i was coming down the hill and check the check out what i found so i just looked over to the to the left here which i'm going to turn the camera around there's a, the creek here and uh and then there's something special oh what happened here busted up that's like a family wagon right there old school man that's been there for about 30 years i wonder if somebody drove that off here or if somebody brought it and ditched it here what do you think i'm gonna get around get a better shot of it i'm gonna go down All right, guys, I, so I just ran into this woman right here and supposedly she just, not supposedly, she just ran into a baby mountain lion. A baby mountain lion. And she ran back and because... Ran the other way. Because <laughs> you know there's a mama out there. Yes. So I'm going, I'm searching for it. I'm going to find it for you guys. <gasps> thanks. You be safe. All right, thanks. Woo, mountain lion. I doubt I'm going to see it. I'm sure that mountain lion got scared off pretty quick, but that would be pretty cool to get on video. Where's that mountain lion? All right, guys, I'm about, I would say probably two miles in right now, and the trail just keeps on going. I think I'm gonna probably go another maybe quarter mile, and then I'm gonna turn around and head back. But before I do that, I'm definitely going up this hill right here. I think there's gonna be killer view at the top of this. And this is my reward. And then the trail goes back downhill. This is gonna be my turnaround spot. All right guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this episode at Santa Margarita River Trail in Fallbrook, California. You gotta come out here and check it out. Bring in the family, bring some water and some sunscreen because it gets a little warm, but such a cool trail and so much wildlife to see. I saw the coyote last time. That lady saw the baby mountain lion, I mean, I wish I would have seen it. I went, I actually searched for it, but didn't see anything. Um, also, please subscribe because if you're a surfer or a bodyboarder, I got a really cool episode coming up. I'm going to be at the Wedge in Newport Beach. I've already spent two days there, got some pro surfers out in the water, but this weekend it's supposed to be 10 to 15 foot. So I'm going to be out there with the big lens. I'm going to get some awesome footage, crazy wipeouts, crazy barrels. Should be amazing. Uh, I want to give a shout out to my nephews who live in Fallbrook. Also my sister and brother-in-law, nephews, Titus, Gordy, Bo, and Judd. Love you guys. Next time, you guys got to come out here with me. Um, we got to go jump in the water. So anyways, thanks for coming along. Please subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.